Hey guys, welcome back to the NYC Moving Out series. So today I am in the new apartment and I thought I would show you guys all the purchases I made for our home. Um, it is definitely a lot of home decor, but uh, this has been my favorite part, I think, of this whole process. Just sort of envisioning what my space will look like and sort of hand choosing everything so that it feels really cozy and warm and inviting. So without further ado, I'm gonna get started. Okay guys, so before I show you what I have in my hand, um, I just want to apologize if the lighting is a little bit overexposed. I'm sitting in front of windows directly facing the street. I kind of thought that would be the best lighting, but I think it's, uh, it's a little too bright and whitening, so I'll have to figure that out. But first item is this pompous grass from Home Goods. I actually think it might not really qualify as pompous grass, it might just be like wheat. Um, but I got this for $14.99 from Home Goods, and I thought it was really nice. Um, it's just like a faux wheat with this white vase that it comes attached with, and I really liked it, so I decided to buy it, and I currently have it on the kitchen island. She's a little crazy, as you could see. She was one of just two options, so I went with her, but um, in general, I like her. Okay guys, so here I have one of my pompous grasses that I bought from Luxbee. Luxbee is an amazing online shop where you can buy pompous grass and they have so many different variations of them and they also have videos on all their product pages so I really love this brand and I bought two pompouses from them. So the first one is this artificial cream pompous. Um, this retails for $65 but I paid much less because I got it 30% off during a Memorial Day site-wide sale. And I just love it, I love how it looks, and I think it's going to look very chic in this room, which is going to be my beauty slash wardrobe room. Um, so yeah, I really love it. Right now I'm currently housing it in this uh, gallon jug that Nick had, but I'm not sure if this will stay its receptacle. Um, if it is, I think I would have to trim the stems a little bit because they're kind of awkward. <laughs> so this is the second pompous grass that I bought from Luxbee. It is their type 6 silver wings and I believe this is one of their most popular pompous grasses. It keeps going in and out of stock on their website but I really love these. Uh, let me just give you a quick description of them. So it says, <clears throat> our type 6 pompous grass comes in orders of three stems, silver with hues of blonde naturally depending on how light hits the plumes. They are around 3 to 3.6 feet and the ultra soft plumes are roughly 2.5 feet. But yeah, I just really love the color of this pompous. I think it's so beautiful and uh, very happy that I bought it. And then the vase that I have this pompous in is actually from At Home, which is a home decor superstore. Um, it recently came to Queens and my sister actually works there. So I used her employee discount and got it for 25% off. So I also bought this trio of match boxes from Luxbee, and yes, that would happen to me. Um, I just really like the color story of all three, and I am so clueless when it comes to decor. Um, I'm trying to learn, so when I see a color story I like, I buy. And I also got um, two glass mirror vanity trays from Amazon, which I really like. This is the smaller one. Next up, guys, I have these really cute little coffee table books to share with you. Um, this one is The Little Book of Chanel. This one's the little book of Dior, and these are so chic and adorable, and the price point was great. Um, I feel like coffee table books are so essential when you're staging a space, and I just thought this would look really cute in my beauty room. Um, I really like how it looks overlaid on the marble serving platter I bought, uh, but yeah, I really, really, really like these. So this next item is actually a marble surfwear platter, I believe. I purchased this from West Elm and I got it for a great price. It was on sale for like 23 bucks. But basically I just bought this um, as kind of like uh, an item to add height onto my dresser and also to place like little trinkets and beauty items and basically just create like a more elevated chic look, I guess. So I had to sneak in a clip of these post-filming because they're actually a birthday gift from Nick. These are the famous preserved roses. Um, he let me pick out what I wanted and I love this beautiful nude blush color combo. So I'm so happy that I have it. So in browsing Pinterest, um, I do have a home Pinterest board if you guys are interested in seeing, but um, I noticed just how common artificial plants are in terms of 
um, just layering and if you ever see like a bookcase or like um, a set of shelves I feel like there's always at least one or two artificial plants there and so I bought these two cute little plants that called out to me so this one right here is from Walmart I think it's like a succulent and then this guy is from at home um, and again, I got this 25% off. It was originally $6.99. So since I'm dishing on my home decor purchases, this was actually the first big purchase I made, which is this coffee table from Home Goods. I am going to dedicate another video for all of our major purchases and appliances and things like that. So the next purchase I have to show you guys are these beautiful artificial flowers that I found at Michael's. They're three separate bunches, but they reminded me so much of these really cute... Um, like floral vases that I saw on Pinterest. Um, I really like that look where you've got like kind of like the, the bright pink peonies and like they're in a the little nice vase. Um, so I do not have a vase for them yet, nor do I know where they will go or their purpose, but I really like the combination of these together. So um, I'm glad I picked them up and they were very inexpensive. I think for all three of these bunches, I paid about $15. I had been researching on Pinterest, um, basically just dressing up coffee tables and creating like a really nice living room space. And I noticed that coffee table books were pretty much always a staple. So I decided I would get some for myself. I really love this one, which is called the Home Edit. It is just gorgeous. It even has like rainbow um, edges to their pages. I've really been enjoying uh, reading this. It is the No Guilt Guide to Owning What You Want and Organizing Everything. Next up, I got this book called Elements of Style, Designing a Home and a Life. Um, and what's funny is I was browsing a home decor site called uh, Aloha Boho, and they sell artificial books. So instead of like paying $100 for like a Tom Ford coffee table book, they do like a mock version, but it's not a real book. It's just cardboard. So they had this for $30. And the actual book itself, which you can read, is $15 on Amazon. So got that from there. And then this is just the... Uh, Joanna Gaines home body book. It's a guide to creating spaces you never want to leave and again This one just has so many gorgeous glossy pages and it's such an interesting read So those are the coffee table books I picked up Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it and please come back to see the next episode. Bye